In today's episode, can we keep pushing against the Thracians in the north whilst also using Alexander to get rid of the Antigonids finally from northern Greece before turning our eyes south to the damn Peloponnese and all the betrayers down there? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. Yes, we are back my friends and today we have plenty to do, don't we? We are fighting a bloody war with the Thracians in the north and a bloody war with the Antigonids up here too. We're also at war with the Aetolians but we can't get to now Pactos at all because there's just so many armies around here. So we may have to just go and take out Ellis or something like that. We also need to remember that I need to take out Cassandrea. I forgot we were at war with Athens. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we need to take out Cassandrea as well. But uh, last time, because it was episode 15, I meant to do a ranking and show you, you know, how we're doing at the minute. But unfortunately, uh, I forgot. So uh, we're going to do that to start with. And if you do enjoy this series, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively, massively appreciated. It really does help get more of these videos out to people. So uh, we have the Antigonids, the Aetolians, Athens, and Paeonia as our enemies. We've got a lot of trade partners, but we have no allies. Literally every single alliance offer is very demanding, mainly probably because that um, diplomat is awful. Um, so I will try and get a new diplomat, although the last one got bribed, didn't they? So we've lost 13 battles, won 91. We, uh, we've controlled 42 regions now, guys, as well. Ranking-wise, we are 13th, 24th in military, which is to be expected, especially on extreme mode. 5th in production, which is really good. 7th, only 7th territorially, which I think is excellent, considering, you know, what... Um, what we've been doing, uh, when you think about the big empires that start massive, you've got the Seleucids, the Ptolemies, the Morians, the Antigonids start massive, but we've probably got more than them now. Um, Rome and Carthage, you know, we've done amazing to get to seventh, I would say. In, I think we're about 70 turns. Yeah, 70 turns. Financial-wise, we are 20th. Population 10th, which is good. And if we have a look at our rankings, we're going to do a custom ranking. We're going to keep all the big empires in there. Uh, we're also going to include the... You can see, we're nearly overtaking the Antigonids now, which is surprising we haven't overtaken them. I'm going to pop in Athens. Oh my god, Athens. You can't even see that line. It's so similar to the color of the background of the map. We're going to keep... We're going to put in all the people we're at war with. So the Paeonians and the Aetolians too. Uh, where are you, Paeonia? There you are. And the Aetolians. We probably passed them, haven't we? That's Pontic Pentapolis looking for a yellow symbol. Where are you, Aetolians? Come on. There you go. Yeah, very hard to see that as well. That's overall ranking. Uh, we've got Carthage. Have we got Rome? We need Rome. Did I pop Rome in there? No. Where the hell's Rome? There you are. There's Rome. Rome's actually not that high up, really, when you think about it. Uh, and then let's go military ranking. Rome's gone very high on the military ranking. You can see the Antigonids slowly declining as we have fought them more and more. We've sl slightly declined the last couple of turns because we haven't retrained that army. Uh, but you also, the Aetolians are pretty much dead. The Paeonians have slowly gone down, but not too much. Romans are very high, but the Seleucids and Ptolemies uh, fighting out for the top spot production wise yeah everyone's taking a dip and then a massive explosion so okay territorially we are nearly as big as rome now which is insane we definitely have a lot more than the antigonids too so that is excellent for us financial financially we are slightly worse than the antigonids still population wise the Seleucids are coming up on 1.6 million, <laughs> which, yeah, a lot more. We've probably got about 300,000 looking at that, which is not too bad. That's not too bad. 300,000 people in our empire right now. Uh, and there we go, back to the overall. Let's have a look at some of the, uh, the, the economic situation over here. We've got 77,000 coming in. 
17,000 from trade, 20,000 ish from farming, 4,000 from mining, and 29,000 from taxes. So we haven't got to the point where trade has overtaken. And that's mainly because we've been taking a lot of inland provinces. Um, so once we start taking the Peloponnese and all this area over here, like Attica and Euboea uh, or Evia, then we shall be in a lot better situation financially because we'll have so much trade going on in this region. Um, so that's good. But in terms of wages, we've got decent wages for the... We've got about 28 generals and admirals. So not that many, actually, for the number of settlements we have. So that's why we're getting so many adoption offers. Um, we've got 118 units costing us 40,000 a turn. Not too many either. Uh, three units uh, uh, and one agent uh, that we're recruiting right now. We've got 13 buildings being constructed. And that's about it. Is there any... Yeah, we're losing about 1,300 to corruption, I imagine. Um, so that's fine. And I think that's everything. So, yeah, we're doing decently well, I've got to say. Now, I would have liked to have uh, conquered Macedon a lot quicker, but with extreme mode, it has been so brutal, hasn't it, in the north? We've had to, like, fight a battle, come back, retrain, fight a battle, come back, retrain, fight a battle, come back, retrain. And especially after Pionia attacked us, there wasn't really much else that we could do. So, yeah, that's how it's been, and that's how it's going to be, you know, for a little while. Um, until we get back on our feet and remove the Antigonids, at least from this area. Then we can really, you know, focus on either Paeonia or whoever we want to focus on and just see what we want to do going forward. I could do with a spy out this way just to see what's going on. But if the Scordisci do attack us, that's what we shall do do i do believe we border them now so it's up to them whether they want to come and attack or not but i really don't want to be fighting celtic units i don't feel like we're in the position at the minute to fight thracians and celts that seems rather rather overpowered to the enemy <laughs> i've got not gonna lie and really this land what is this land gonna do we want the rich land down south in greece before going across to crete and into the islands maybe and yeah, that would probably be the better, maybe up into Thrace and Pontic Pentapolis too. But yeah, this land is going to be poor and not really very good for us. So fighting against the Celts is really not going to be an amazing thing. So I think what we'll do is we take the Pyrrhus' army to do that rather than our good Alexandrian army over here. Let's sort them as well. There we go. I don't know why it separates the Thuriophoroi. I think it goes based on the level of unit, but... Like, the Thuriophoroi should be over here, and the Embarachiotes with the Deuteroi, but oh well, it doesn't matter, does it? So, let's end the turn, guys. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. So, let's hope that Pella now gets rid of this, uh, the uh, the infection with the uh, sewers being here. So, I mean, I feel like it did, and then it just reinfected itself. And now Pella's got 3,800 people. Yeah, not, not ideal, is it? We've got two Hippodromes being built down here, which is amazing. We still need to expand Demetrias. And Demetrias is getting a little bit upset by the fact that we need to expand it. So I do need to make sure I build that next turn. But let's end the turn, guys, and let's see where we get to. I'm not going to lie. This is highly, highly tempting right now. But they're only offering us that because we are on, we've got them on the ropes. So, I mean, I could just take it and then just completely uh, completely declare war on them next turn. I don't think we need to take it, though. Uh, I'd rather siege down Burger. Would I rather siege down Burger than take 7,500 gold? It's a, hard, it's a hard decision. It's a hard decision to make. Um, but... Oh, that's really tempting. Really tempting. I don't want to have a ceasefire and let them build up another army. I think we've got them on the ropes. So let's decline it and just completely blitz them down over here. Looks like... Oh, they've got a spy with goddamn plague. No, don't bring... Oh, no. You bastards. Well, we are getting a spy in Pella that's got plague, so... What I'm going to do is give that to the Pionians, and hopefully the Pionians will get plague as well. <laughs> so the Pionians did relieve the siege, which is great for us. 
Uh, I'm wondering, can you get... How can you not get all the way there? It's not even far, man. Uh, because both of those settlements have been rioting. Yeah, Damastion and Stoby. Stoby's at 60. Damastion is 35%. So I feel like that is going to gonna be uh, dead. Pella. Pella's got... Oh, my God. Wait, what happened? Both of the generals... Okay, I was going to say. No, it's not 35%. It just didn't register then that I'd changed... But yeah, Pella still got the plague. God damn it. I'm hoping this spy... Yeah, he's got the plague. So, which army's bigger? This one. Right. Let's try and enter 28%. He, he succeeded. <gasps> Can he join the army? I thought he could join the army. Uh, but I was hoping I could give them the plague. Hmm. Well, I think go in there, try and give them the plague there. That would be funny. Just for a few memes, my friends. Just for a few memes. Uh, we've got a new family member. Pyros again. Fantastic name. Fantastic name. So that spy has been done. Stoby. Yeah, Stoby's just incredibly upset. Can we upgrade? Uh, update that, please. Now what we're going to do is send these two out. Can we go with the 46 as well? Probably. We can. So you're going to go up there. We are going to siege that down in a second. Oh my god, they've got Thracian Infantry Guard. Well, this is not going to be an easy battle by any stretch of the imagination. We've got hardly any missile troops too. So I am... Oh, we can get Mercenary Tralian Infantry, which is basically the uh, Infantry Guard. So I will take them because they're amazing. Oh, they've got Horse Archers here too. Uh, we've got Getic Archers. Do we take the Getic Archers or do we take the Horse? I mean, the Horse Archers are so invaluable. Let's take them. They are going to be so valuable. We also need to make sure that we are building that. And then the rest of our money is going to be spent down here. Let's go for that. There we go. It's going to take one more turn to retrain everyone. They'll also get an armor upgrade, which will be amazing. What's in there? We will do that battle. We're unfortunately going to have to start the episode with a couple of rubbish battles for these sieges. But that's no problem. You guys still going. Romans are just like chilling. Just like having a look around. Like, what's going on over here? <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go into this battle then. I don't mind, you know, using these guys just to fight their Romphi Foroi and stuff. Then we'll probably use the Cretans and the Peloponnesians as well. Because they're excellent, excellent units, aren't they? But let's first of all get rid of this army. That is pretty much destroyed ish but they still do have a thessalian cavalry in there so yeah let's uh what about the night battle now nah, let's not go for a night battle let's go for a standard 180 don't mind that actually uh yeah i thought let's uh let's not do two battles of sieges right to start with i think that's probably a good idea so let's Enslave Burger because Burger was a little bit upset last time. Now we can actually move to Thessalonica. It already has siege, so it doesn't matter me putting that guy in there. Let's now leave. Do we have anyone that we can garrison with? That's the problem right now. We've got so few garrison troops. We probably need to start recruiting a few more garrison troops. What have they built? They've actually built back up their uh, recruitment hub, so free money for us. Fantastic. Let's take that. Retrain. Let's not retrain them. Let's try and train. I mean, actually, we could garrison with these guys. It's going to give them the plague, but I don't mind that. Let's go straight across the bridge to Cirrus. And you guys, let's get you in there. On low. Maybe we need both of them. That's fine. 64%. Not too bad. Can repair that. Repair the walls, actually, first. And I would like another temple here, but apparently we've only got the Temple of Artemis. That's no problem then. So we go across there, and now let's do this battle for their capital, Bylazora. Very nice indeed. Uh, no, we don't want to move there. We want to attack Bylazora. Let's get into this battle. This guy looks decidedly Greek. 
Uh, but that's fine. We're on 5483. Thracian infantry guard. Thracian archers. Yeah, I think we've got this. It's just going to be more, more bloody than you would expect for such a small garrison because all three of these units are excellent, excellent units who will destroy our units. So we've just got to be careful with what we do here. I'm not going to lie, I thought this was wooden walls. <laughs> Doesn't really matter though, it's not going to make much difference. We're just going to do the same technique as what we normally do and uh, use our arches and all that sort of thing to get up on the walls. While we're waiting, let's have a look at these Trollian infantry boys. Look how good they look. They are an amazing unit, aren't they? They are a fantastic looking unit. But let's get up on the walls. So we've beaten back a couple of the Run for Four Eye units. Uh, pretty much destroyed one, but here comes the infantry guard, which is gonna be a nightmare to kill. Absolute nightmare to kill. So we're going to try and fire into them with our jabbies. That's the only way we're going to survive this because they are insanely good. They are so good. And hopefully on this side, we can deal with this Romfei Foroi quite easily with the Trollians uh, surrounding them. And uh, yeah, we'll try and surround them with the uh, Trollians. We've got our decent hoplites on this side and then we can go and flank they have Thracian royal bodyguards. I think that's the, maybe their faction leader. But these guys, we'll get them here. Then what we're going to do, we're going to war cry. War cry, taunting the enemy. And then we're going to charge in the side of them. These Trollians should be better than the Romfa Foroi themselves. So war cry and then charge into their flanks, my friends. There we go. That's good. These poor Thurio Foroi units, they're going to struggle. But we have taken out a couple of the units. Ideally, I would like to get around the town square to this way. So what I'm going to do is tell this unit to run all the way around. It's going to take them a little while. I mean, we could actually go this way around. Well, let's do that instead. Let's come all the way over there. You're going to go the right way. Yes, you are. Let's make sure we try to at least block that off. And this should be a rather easy victory on this side. But on this side, we should be getting shredded. We'll try to get this guy alt attack and then fire. And then see whether he fires the jabbies. Yeah, they do. There we go. That's good. We've got to just leave it in place. One more fire, my friends. Hopefully, you can try and hit the back lines of these guys. Okay, they didn't really fire because the guys are in front. That's to be expected, to be fair. But this should be a rather easy victory over this side, so that should be okay. And here comes the cavalry. We've got our horse archers and our general. Not going to use the horse archers to charge. We're just going to use them to bait people. Uh, we don't uh, We don't really want to fight that royal bodyguard still, though, without anything in place to protect us, uh, which is, you know, a hoplite, that sort of thing. So hopefully we can kill this Romfei Foray rather quickly, which... Yeah, it's unlikely to happen, not going to lie. But maybe we can just use our horse archers for a little bit just to harass their general. So let's try that for now. Maybe drag him away from the conflict back down this way to be shot by the towers. But I guess we shall see. Are these towers? Yeah, these towers are Paeonian towers. So we've got to be careful with that one. This one is ours now, but this one should be Paeonian. Uh, it should be ours in a second. So what we'll do, we'll just keep this guy running around the map all the way. Where are you? Did I not select you? I'm sure I did. There we go. We'll keep them running around the map just in case we want to get that horse archer back at some point. Guys, let's go. Come on. Are you guys on guard mode? No. So why are you not engaging in the combats? Engage in the combats. How are we doing here? Yeah, these guys, you can see, are just so good. Uh, very, very strong unit. Here comes the Noble Cavalry. That's good for us. Turn around and fire, fight them. Should be quite a good little victory for us if we do that. Going to get the Horse Archers over here. They can either go into the back of the trolley tra 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 and guard. Oh, there goes those guys. So let's keep coming through. All the way through. I think we're just going to have to grind these guys down anyway. Get out of there, my friends. Get out of there. Go, 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 go. Go. 
You guys stay there for now. You guys stay there for now. Just get out of there. They're firing their jabbies. Get in there, my friends. And then once we've engaged these guys in combat, what we're going to do is then send our general to go charge the Trollians in the back. We've lost a couple of horse archers, but that's not a problem. I want you guys to just engage these guys and just hold them for a second. What's going on with your pathing, man? I know you're a wide unit, but you don't need to be such a wide boy. There we go. Hoplites engaged and the Trollians engaged. And uh, yeah, very good indeed. Right, bring you through two. Horse archers over here. There we go. They are losing quite a lot of men now. And to be fair, all we need to do now is just hold these guys. Looks like the uh, one of the 304 units has run away because they got so shredded by the unit there. Let's kill this general. Once he's dead, we are going to charge this unit. So we're going to start charging because he's going to die very soon. And yeah, three men, two men. There we go. Very nice indeed. And I think a relatively decent result, to be fair, for fighting such elite units. That's their, that was their king. So we're going to leave the horse archers on here. We're going to send these guys down this way. Looks like they're turning around. Let's rally so he doesn't, you know, die. Guys, come on. Come through. Attack them. Oh, my God. We just literally just died on the charge because of how good that unit is. But as long as we stop them from getting to the town square now, we should be fine. So we're going to send our infantry down that way to block them off. And all we need to do is wait two minutes and we should be good. Very good. I think that was a great, uh, good victory, really, considering the, um, the elite troops that we have been facing. There they go. They're actually firing now, which is great for us. So come down, boys. Let's go attack them. Attack him. There we go. Attack him. Attack him, boys. Attack him. And they actually routed. Wow. Was not expecting that. So let's end the battle there. And about equal, which against such elite troops was a very, very good result. One of the 304 I got absolutely ruined, but everyone else did pretty darn good. So I will see you back on the campaign map. And I'm just going to explain, you know, a few things, guys, about settlements and Occupy and Slave Exterminate. Um, I get a lot of questions. Like, it's one of the most predominant questions I get on the channel. Like, why did you occupy that? Why did you enslave that? And the, the, the answer is, it depends on the settlement. I mean, it's very, very variable. It really does depend on the settlement. I used to just enslave everything. But, um, so... If we're going to occupy, I want to be occupying when this, like, happiness is very, very happy. Because at the minute, it's got 85% with the full army in there. So it's got the full garrison percentage plus the general's influence. And each general's influence gives 5% law. So that's even more um, happiness in there too. So if I just occupy and leave this settlement, it's going to be insanely upset with one garrison troop. So instead of that, if I enslave, the reason why I've been enslaving a lot is because in the lands where your homeland is, especially as Epirus, is very low, um, very low fertility. So very hard to grow these regions. And if I enslave, what I'm doing is just using this population somewhere else. So I'm growing these areas that I have built in already and already are relatively stable and using it to grow them plus getting a little bit of denarii. Now I hardly ever exterminate. That's because this population will just disappear. It is killed. Whereas enslaving it is used somewhere else. So generally enslavement for me is a lot better. However, I will only exterminate when I need money, which I don't need a huge amount of money right now, but or the public order I know is going to be terrible. And I know in Bailazora the public order is going to be very bad. So for now, for this particular settlement, because of that, I am going to exterminate for the first time in a very long time. Because I know that that public order is going to be awful. They do have a fourth level recruitment here, but only first level of those. Which is not good for them. That's really bad. But this is a very rich settlement because it's got a silver mining complex. Very nice indeed. Nothing got damaged in the siege, which is excellent for us. What I am going to do is go straight for a Thracian recruitment so we can start getting Rom Roy as quick as possible. So we're going to get that in there straight away. And what I'm actually going to do as well is just leave, like, wait 
in by Lazora. Because if they siege us down, that'd be amazing. We got a captured flag for Pyros as well, which is extra morale. How good is Pyros now on the old morale? Plus one morale, which is not... It says plus zero. No, plus zero for traits, but it is plus one. So that's pretty darn good. Uh, and he's a decent character now. He's hardened as well, plus one valor. Understanding of mathematics, that's not very wealthy as well. He's renowned, which is more influence. And we're in winter as well. But enemy enemy camp captured, which is plus one influence too. So he's a decent commander now. A very decent commander. So we are just going to wait in by Lazora and hope that they come and siege us down with both armies. Because I'm willing to bet that we can beat their armies with, uh, with our phalangites holding the city. So I feel like we can. That would be excellent. Now, what else do we want to do? We are getting these down here to get Thessalian cavalry. So I feel like we now want to have a look. This is Macedonian. I feel like Stimbra and Stoby should be our recruitment hubs as well. Although Stimbra is only a minor, is only a large town. But I think we'll go for that so that we've got Bylazora, Stimbra and Stoby as our Thessalian recruitment. Down uh, sorry, not Thessalian, our Thracian recruitment. Down here in Larissa and Pharsalos and all that, we're going to have our other recruitment. We also do have... Don't we have somewhere that needs upgrading? Let me just check. I don't think I got notified by it. But we do. It's Acanthos. So let's go across to Acanthos. Let's build that in there. So that's all our money. We could have used that money for retraining. But I think getting the economic buildings for now is good. Because we've got a full amount of retraining there too. Now, Alexander is across there. Good. Very good. Well, a great turn. I, th I feel like that was a great turn. Or a great couple of turns anyway. So, we've got, we've got plague in, in quite a lot of places now, though. That's the only thing. That should actually help with the happiness in Burger because it's going to reduce the population. But, yeah. Pella has been ravaged by plague. Which is really not great for Pella, is it? Uh, what I want to do actually is send this unit up here too, so that can be another garrison troop while we have a general that's quite young in there and he's not going to die. Very good indeed. This unit, we could get rid of these Peloponnesian hoplites or we could use them to reinforce that, so that's what we're going to do there. Uh, still happy in Demetrias, that didn't make a difference, that, uh, that guy there. So let's end the turn guys and let's see where we get to. God damn it, Rome. I knew this was coming. What bastards. What bastards. That is very, 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 uh, very annoying. But I feel like we can beat that with uh, Iskirion or Ifestionas' army now. <laughs> okay, they've gone and attacked there. They haven't attacked by Lazora. Okay, that's not too bad. But what that means is we can just go and siege down that next settlement along. And, I mean, we're just avoiding their armies. Their armies are so good. That there is no point in wasting our men with their armies. Because how do we have plague now in Bylazora? How has that happened? Oh my god. Plague everywhere. Pella, Thessalonica, Berger, and Bylazora. Thessalonica, does, they do, that does have a, a sewer. We do have a sewer here too. So I think in Thessalonica, let's go for the public baths. That's a no-brainer. We can't go for the public baths in here. So let's repair that. And yeah, nothing else we can really build there. Pella, we're just, we're just firming it basically. We're just going to take it to the face. Uh, but Bylazora, how did that plague happen? I mean, I don't, oh, maybe they put a spy in there. And they've gone over that way. So we want to kill that guy. We've got a couple of places besieged. Athens has also besieged us, which is very annoying. Thank you, Athens, for that. We've got civil disorder. Where have we got it? Burger. That should be fine next time. Damastion is still pretty upset. But if we go in, there we go. Now it's happy. Let's also repair that. And then Tricker over here. Tricker's got a little bit upset, so we'll just put that down to low. That's fine. No problem with those. We've got some new family members. Good. And yes. Have good recruitment going on. Let's uh, let's repair in Ambrachia one more time. 
And let's, uh, who are we going to retrain? Who are we going to train here? Um, I mean, we don't really need many men for this um, army. I'm thinking maybe some more Ambrachiotes. And this army should not be too hard to deal with. I feel like if we kill that army, Rome might sue for peace. But yeah, we really don't want to be at war with Rome. Oh my god, look at the Antigonids. That is a mess. <laughs> I do not want to deal with that right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Just as we're cleaning up things up here, that is happening over there. So, let's get serious. Slaughter is old. 258. Don't mind that. That's fine. Now, in Sirius, because it's already quite happy, we're going to just enslave in there. Now, what do we want to do with Sirius's army? Oh, yeah. We want to remove this army and go and fight the... Uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll have to use that Athamanian in there. It might... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It might bring a little bit more plague. <laughs> we're just spreading the plague at this point. Okay, it didn't. It didn't. Wow. That's interesting. Let's destroy this then. Get rid of that. Let's also... Oh my god. What is the temple? Temple of Dionysus? I'm very happy with that. Don't mind that at all. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to go and take Cassandre because that's allowing the Athenians to take Akinthos. They haven't got a ram yet, so we will take Cassandre before they get to that point. And yeah, we need to move out of there, don't we? Uh, the donor has now grown. That's fine. Let's get that. That's actually fantastic. You can see that's why we're doing the enslavements. We're on low and this still has 0%. The only thing we can get now is grain imports to improve that above there. So that's okay. Uh, these guys are going to get going. And Brachia has 1% growth, which is good for us. And yeah, we need to get to there. We're going to go to Scoopy. Scoopy. We're going to get to Scoopy. And once we've taken Scoopy, what's going to happen is the Paeonians at this point, where is the border here? Really hard to see, actually. So, yeah, once we've taken Scoopy, the Paeonians will no longer be bordering Stoby or Hiskana. And what that will mean is that they own, the only places that they can actually try to seize down is Bylazora and Scoopy. So we're going to do that. Who do we leave behind, though? That's the question. I mean, 22 Cretan Hoplites. Yeah. Incredibly upset. Let's attack there. Uh, can we afford to lose some men from here? We can. Not many, though. 60% now. I wonder if I leave with this 46. There we go. How is that? 67. I think that's going to be okay. Especially if we can build another temple. Yeah, let's go for the temple of Dioscuri. Bylazor is now happy too, which is great. Yes, it was a bloody spy that's given us plague in Bylazora. God damn it, man. Let's auto resolve that. We took no casualties. And let's go and siege down that settlement. Fantastic. So... Glorious. We have not really had any big battles yet this episode, but I feel like we may do very soon, especially if Pionia decides to come and attack. So let us see. We've got plague everywhere. This guy's given plague to many places. I hope he does not do that again. You guys can come up. They're going to get attacked by that unit because we did get attacked with this unit last time. Uh, but that's okay. And I think it's just, we, we tend to get that. We get one episode with loads of battles and big battles. And then we get the next episode with no battles at all. So, uh, or smaller battles. But anyway, it's fine. We've still got plenty of time to get a big battle in there. So let's end the turn and let's see where we get to. Okay, yes, we brought plague to them. We brought plague to them. That's kind of funny. Let's, uh, let's uh, then get out and let's go and give them more plague somewhere else. Oh my god. Can't do two in one go. They've got so much land, man. Do they have any land up here? No, that's Scordisky land. Well, let's come around here. We're going to give them plague in one of these places next time. So, we'll do that. This spy, yeah, has given them plague in Dardania Fruion. If you're going to give me plague, I'm going to give you plague, man. <laughs> so, yeah. That's how it goes, unfortunately for you. Right. 
Yeah, I mean, if they siege that down, we're done for. Same over here, but it's okay. We uh, hopefully will draw them away by this army. I don't think they want to attack that army. I really don't know why. It's kind of annoying, not going to lie. But oh well. I think this spy as well can just... If you just pop out this way and just have a look. Yeah, there's just land is so barren and bare over here. It's just really not worth fighting over. There's Skordisky there as well. They have expanded quite a bit then. Well, let's come over this way. See how big their empire is. And let's end the turn there, guys. Okay, so the Pionians did not leave. Also, isn't this plague starting to feel a little bit like the Great Macedonian Plague that you get in the... Uh, in the base game in vanilla. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's certainly making an impact. We will probably do that battle ourselves. Same thing with Scoopy over here. Yeah, we'll definitely do that ourselves because otherwise we shall lose a lot of the men. But let's have a look at what we've got going. Yeah, so many settlements besieged now. <laughs> oh yeah, they seized down Pella again. I feel like they're just not going to give up. But yeah, Death Stalks are land in all four of those settlements. Not great. Not great. Not great. And, of course, uh, Pyrrhus' army too. So, it's not excellent, is it? Thermon now got a recruitment hub. That's excellent because we want to build this up. Let's go to level two there. How are we doing in terms of other buildings like around here? We're getting stables there. We are in fast loss getting the stables too. Larissa we are. Falana we're not building. Um, how about Umbrachia? We probably want to keep building up. I mean, archery range there. Is that ever going to get us anything worthwhile? Oh, we can get elephants, man. Fourth tier stables. Oof. 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 I cannot wait to get that. You know what? We need to start rushing for um for next tier of uh, of city here so let's go let's go for the academy first but then what we're going to do we're going to build public baths and crop rotation and just try and build up our uh, uh, our population growth here so we can actually start to upgrade Umbrakia. but this army is ready to go let's also auto sword it first so we're going to go attack the romans we're going to have our first what Oh, he got forced on there. What? How? How do we not have enough movement points for that? And I don't feel like we're adjacent. We're not adjacent, so I don't think we're going to get called in for the Siege of Fenike. That's ridiculous, man. Oh. Well, we'll have to do at least one more turn so that we can uh, do that battle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving us on that. Why are these guys still got their uh, their things showing? We don't need to show that, do we? And Thessalonica and Burger because they have the plague. I know they've got the plague. Lots of plague going around, my friends. Lots of plague. So uh, let's uh, attack this uh, one here. And let's get into the battle. Let's go, guys. Well, the gates are down, but the uh, Romfei Foroi are right in front of the gates, which is not great for us, I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try and kill them with javelins as much as possible here. You guys firing. There we go. That's good. And a bit of missile men as well. They seem to have quite a lot of missiles, though. That's the one thing. Yeah, is it just two? Because it seems like they can have four, like, four volleys at a time. But I think we're going to we're gonna try and push through there. And what we're going to do, we're going to flank them with these units over here. Uh, what else? I think we will probably use a couple of the Deuteroy just to protect ourselves from the flank. Uh, and we will use the Tralian infantry again to go and deal with them. Um, so we're going to get them. Uh, no, not with the fucking ram. There we go. Not with the ram. Come on. Hurry up, men. So we're going to go into here and we're going to get these guys here 
And then we're going to get those to Deuteroy over this side as well, just to protect the flank there, because they do have some decent units of cavalry, as you can see. Two units of Thracian Royal Bodyguards. Very, very good cavalry and Thracian Noble cavalry. But if we can get them running onto our pikes, then we can absolutely ruin them, can't we, my friends? So hopefully these guys will get in position and uh, then fire. Come on, men. Fire. Fire, maybe. That would be good. Fire. I really don't care about friendly fire, guys. There we go. There we go. We're going to have to backspace them because they tend to charge. Well, they do charge after their first volley. So after that. There we go. There we go. Backspace. Backspace. Halt. Halt, men. Halt. Then we're going to fire again to try and kill these guys. And then the rest of it is just cavalry. So I'm kind of happy with what we're doing right now. Uh, I also need to bring my general in because they tend, the AI tends to uh, have a bit of a, a weird turn when you bring the general into the city. So there we go. Now they did the charge. Now they are charging the uh, Romfei Foroi in the back. There we go. I kind of want to bring the horse archers in too to try and fire at them and bring them off the town square. We've also got this little route around here too, but no route is that good. So let's just speed it up and let's see what happens. Well, here comes the first of the generals straight into the phalanx. Uh, I don't know. No, 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 no. Wrong way, my friends. Let's get these guys on guard mode as well. There we go. That's better. That's better. They were facing completely the wrong way then. Very strange. But that's what they like to do. You guys, let's get you on phalanx mode. And let's just go straight through. I'm going to bring these guys up here too. There we go. And hopefully they can fire some jabbies. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to kill all this cavalry with our phalanx. There we go. You guys in there too. There we go. Killing them quite easily. They are doing a lot of damage because, of course, phalangites. Not very good in the city streets, of course. Why would you stop your phalanx, guys? Don't stop the phalanx. That's so dumb. Like, incredibly dumb. There we go. That's better. And now they're bringing their cavalry through again. Nearly killed that guy. Got these guys left to go. And there we go. Fight them. You guys, are you, come on. Really? You can't fire, can you not? Like, surely you're able to fire. There we go. There's one of the generals. But god damn it, man. Like, what is this? What is this? You guys, hold. Put your phalanx down, guys. They did fire their jabbies then. That's good. But it should be relatively easy. Nearly one. Nearly one. Right. Let's keep coming then. Let's keep coming. Come into the town square, guys. Come into the town square. Could probably do the rest with just a few of the men. Let's speed this up. Doesn't need to be this slow, does it? Let's kill them all. Kill them all. There we go. Get into there. Bang. And we shall surround them. Kill them. Let's do it with the phalanx, guys. Come on. Come on. They just ran through him. <laughs> well, a decent victory, I've got to say. Not the best victory ever, but a decent one nonetheless. So let's get back on that campaign map. And Scoopy. I think Scoopy will uh, enslave. That's going to be okay. We've got another retinue. Barbarian turncoat. One command fighting against barbarians. That's actually fantastic. And of course, these guys now have the plague too. We are just spreading the plague literally everywhere. Not ideal. They do have a Bardic Circle here, which is a really nice building. I do want to keep that in there, even though it's got pretty bad uh, public order issues, probably. Another Nation Spy is in here, too. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to leave again. Let's see whether we can leave. We're basically going to be pushing them back and back and back and further and further back. I wonder whether they can survive with 10. They can actually survive with 10. So basically what we're going to be doing is pushing them further and further back so that the borders pretty much are only the settlement here, Damastion. So the only settlements now that they actually do border is Scoopy and Damastion. And if they want to just, you know, fuck around and keep sieging down uh, settlements further and further back, I don't mind because 
They're not going to siege these down now. They shouldn't do anyway, AI-wise, because they don't actually border these settlements. So, that's great. We've got 20,000 left to burn now. Oh, yeah, we need to do this one. Um, thinking auto resolve again. 360, that's quite brutal. But uh, let's just occupy Cassande because that is our settlement. And it has uh, was our settlement in the past. Actually, fine just to leave it without a garrison. So let's do that. Let's go and kill this guy. Let's also resolve that too. 18 men that time. And then we'll go and attack them. And we will do this on the battle map. This army definitely will have to go back for retraining very soon. So... We're pretty much going to do this just with the three Phalangites and the Athamanians. All these guys are back here just out of the battle. We don't need them. We don't want to take any damage. They're the ones who've taken all the damage in the auto-resolves. Uh, they have Thurio, Foroy, and Chalcospedes. That's fine. I don't mind that. Let's just keep coming forward. Going to get these guys in here. And then we're going to get the Athamanian Peltas just in there. Ready to fire and our Thurio 4 right around that side. And then the rest of it is just going to be done with the old cavalry. Are they withdrawing? Yes, they are. Idiots. Idiots. I, I despise that. I really do despise that. Really pisses me off when the AI does this. It does this a lot as well. I wish they would just withdraw from the fucking battle. Don't take the battle. Idiots. Honestly. There we go. Which guy? Alkaos has died. Are you kidding me? How has Alkaos died in that? Didn't even touch him. Looks like he's the only person to have died. Literally the only person. Right, Aphamanians get back. We don't want to deal with you anymore. Let's come over here. Right, you guys, let's go all the way over that way. Thurio, Foroy, get them. Aphamanians need you to fire at the Chalcospedes. You guys, in fact, let's just get ahead of them. Just go, just go. Go as quick as you can, guys. Honestly. Do you have no urgency? Jesus Christ, man. Zero urgency. Aphamanians, now you can fire. Can you fire, please? Like, fire, please? They're all, it's in your range, guys. It's in your range. No fucking urgency. Right, let's go. How are you so slow, guys? How have you taken... How have you got so tired? I literally have only just started running you. There we go. Kill them. But we want to get on to the Thurio Foroy here too. You guys attack them. Hopefully we can just kill them with overwhelming numbers. But uh, at least as long as we stop them, that's okay. And then we just come out now. And then we get the Thurio Foroy in there. These guys, these guys have fired. We'll get behind there. What we're going to do is send you up this way in a nice fat formation. But there we go. They're steep. They keep on running away. So we're just going to keep on attacking them. Keep coming. Keep coming, guys. God damn it. Stop fucking around. Keep coming, guys. Uh, this unit here. Let's get you into phalanx formation. Get you off guard mode and do that. There we go. These guys, let's go. Let's go. Now out. Now out. Now we've stopped both of those units. How many is left in there? 107 of that 304, right? Right. Well, we need to do a big charge, I think, on them. Let's... Uh, oh, that's the edge of the map. Right, guys. Go, 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 go. Everyone charge. Let's see if we can break these guys with a charge. Looks like we're not going to be able to. But there we go. They have charged back. I don't think we're going to be able to kill many more than this. But uh, yeah, they should be. They should start wavering soon because of overwhelming numbers of enemies. Yeah, really not overwhelming numbers. Surely there's overwhelming numbers in there. These guys are going to escape. But that's fine. We can probably break them just by fighting them. Let's fight them. You guys come along here. You guys are fighting the Chalcospedes. You guys back around that way to fully surround the Chalcospedes. Have we not broken them yet? They're now wavering. That's fine. But let's speed this up. We don't need this to take so long. Now we're going to charge them. You guys get there. There we go. Broken them. 
Nice. Now cavalry. Let's come all the way up this way. And let's see what we can do about these Chalka Speedes. Go. Zistaphori in first. There we go. Kill all of them. Nice. Easy-ish victory, apart from that one unit escaped. Anyway, good victory, guys. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Problem now being... Oh, and no, no Plague Impeller now. Well, that's interesting. We have no one to garrison Pella. You can garrison Pella for the time being, but we do want a general in there. It's still a relatively rich settlement even after all of the death. He's got 6.5% population growth now. But uh, let's come back to Ambrakia. Apparently, it's going to take two turns. Although, can Pella do the Ambrakiotes yet? It cannot. We are getting uh, someone in there very soon to do that. The good thing here, though, is... Um, you know, we can get the Hippodrome. It's going to take a while for it to get to large city, so we can build up this as a military recruitment hub before being, you know, uh, changed on that. Plague just everywhere, man. Plague everywhere. <laughs> what are these? Agrianian archers, a decent archer unit, but should be able to just run over then. Alchaos has died. <laughs> Alchaos in the chaos has died, unfortunately. All right, let's repair there. We also need to repair... I think it was something in Burger, or have we done that? No, we have... Let's get that port. Okay, it's got the plague, so it's not going to trade with a port for now, but let's build that. Let's also build the public baths in there. We're building the public baths in there. We're building that there. What about recruitment hubs? So we were building... Scoopy is a Pionian, and it's a minor city, so we definitely want to build that up as a recruitment hub. Doing the same in Bylazora. This one's Illyrian. We don't care about Illyrian units. They're trash at the minute. So, yeah, let's not worry about that too much. Uh, Heraclea Linkestis. Let's have a look. Let's get sewers in there. And what are we building in Ambrakia? We're building that academy, like I said earlier. Let's also start to try to look to upgrade some of these regions with some of the better buildings. Especially public health buildings after we've seen so much plague. We definitely want a couple of uh, public health buildings. We'll get a temple in there for now as well. And Oinidai might be a good option to build something. Let's build the population growth in Oinidai. That's good. Thermon? Yeah, we are building that building. So we built a lot this turn. With 37,000 apparently we're going to make next turn. And that's with about... Six, uh, well, how many settlements? One, two, three, four, five of our settlements having plague, <laughs> which is kind of insane. Uh, but glorious victories abound, my friends. Just no big battles, but that's that's fine. You get these episodes, don't you? Uh, let's end the turn one more time, and we might finish on this battle against the Romans. And Athens finally wants another ceasefire. They're going to give us some money, so I am going to accept it this time. It's going to stop them doing anything stupid down south or in the north, oh, so let's accept it for now. Let's also try and get some trade agreements the with them. Let's also offer them map information. I know the map information makes them a little bit more likely to attack, but honestly, I'm not scared of Athens. I don't care. Would you consider 1,890? Oh, Absolutely. And as you can see, the Pionians have gone back again, which is great. I'm very surprised that they are still sieging down Stoby. Because Stoby's borders look like they come... I don't know. I think it's the river and then to here. So they, do, they don't have any land here. So they shouldn't really want to be sieging it down. But it is such a small... Uh, it's just a general and we have some troops in there. So I'm, I'm not too worried about that for now but like i say we're just going to keep pushing them backwards and these guys until they eventually die without us even fighting them so we're going to spread plague to them there as well just weaken their garrisons a little bit i mean we have plague too so it doesn't really matter too much thessalonica has got rid of plague good that's fantastic they're building baths there. Burger's building a port. Hopefully, the plague is getting rid of there too. We do have sewers in Pella, but god damn, the plague in Pella has just been brutal, hasn't it, my friends? Do we have death stalks the land? We didn't have... It didn't tell us about unrest, actually, that time, which is very weird. Don't know why. Allies, Athens and Paeonia, and Aetolians and Paeonia. I wonder, I wonder why. <laughs> you bastards. 
Rome's still sieging us down there, so I think that's what we're going to finish on. We're now making 40,000 a turn, which is pretty darn nice, isn't it? I've got to say, my friends. Right, let's come all the way down. Luckily, we don't have plague in this army. Otherwise, I would not go into Ambrakia. I would just wait for the plague to go away. There is plague in Scoopy 2. Scoopy 2? <laughs> Scooby-Doo? Uh, but yeah, what do they have in there? I feel like this is an auto-resolve battle. Yeah, let's go for that. 60, I'm very happy to accept that. Let's enslave here too. And destroy this. So this should make them come back even further. And they're probably going to siege down this or Damastion next time. Really don't mind. Either way, that's fine. Uh, let's repair the buildings. What temple is that? Temple of Aphrodite. Don't mind that. Let's build a sewer in there for now. Uh, let's leave and let's see whether we can do it with 80. 45, 75, 78 in there. Absolutely perfect. Let's go straight for Nysos. And yeah, they, they <laughs> poor AI. I am very much exploiting the AI, but fuck fighting these armies, man. <laughs> they can become rebel armies and just chill out somewhere and give us devastation. Because really, I don't care too much about this land. It really is not land that I am very fond of, <laughs> to be honest. So... Yeah, I really don't care that much about it. I'm going to pop you up to Damastion for now. Ah, that spread plague there, didn't it? Ah, god damn it. We're just spreading plague everywhere. That was a bit of a mistake. But hopefully we can get rid of plague down here because these settlements are actually useful. And they're going to be useful in the future. So getting plague there is, is not great. Uh, but now we've got 37,000 to deal with. Um... So, yeah, you've moved. Now it's time for Ifestionas to fight the Romans. The first battle against the Romans. What do they have? Princapes, Hoplites, more Princapes, some Equites, some Greek Slingers, and some Velites. Don't think that's going to be too much to worry about, is it, my friends? So let's get into the battle. Yes. Yes, we are the sons of great soldiers, aren't we? We definitely are. Here we go. So we're going to just phalanx them to death, as usual. Group them together. I don't mind having the Deuteroyal on one side this time. We're going to put these guys behind. And we're going to do a folding flank, as usual, too. So let's get them. Going to use. We will use the archers a little bit. Uh, one of them's got gold weapon. 16 missile attack. That's insane. <laughs> that is very good. That's the same as a javelin. So our first battle against the Romans, my friends. How is this going to go? Let's go slightly more there. So we're not going so sideways. There we go. We're going to run as well. Let's. We might as well crush them quickly. Here we go. Here we go, friends. A little bit behind that left flank, aren't they? But we will put, form the flanks as soon as we're there. There we go. These guys should be on fire at will. Fantastic. Let's get in there and let's form the phalanx. They've got to fire their javis across, but I don't mind that at all. We'll just take it. Here we go. I'm surprised they haven't... Oh, they can't withdraw, can they? So let's go. You're not withdrawing, are you? No. Good. We also have a massive cavalry advantage. So let's group you guys together. Let's come up this way, and these guys, let's get them round, and the hoplites, let's get them there too. Here we go, boys, let's go. Have you seen a phalanx before, Romans? Have you seen one before? Probably, actually, with uh, Tarentum and all that sort of thing, and also, of course, Pyrrhus all those years ago, but it's time to take a little bit of revenge on the old Romans, isn't it, my friends? Here are the Princapes. Here are the Princapes. I feel like we're going to just crush these fools. So you guys, I want you to attack there. You guys, I want you to attack there. You guys, attack there. You guys, hold. Hold. You guys, attack there. The Oh, those poor buggers. They're going to get absolutely ruined. Right. Cavalry around the back now. I don't even need anything to do here. Get off guard mode. Attack them. 
Uh, are you attacking? Like, that seems kind of brutal what you're doing there. Just hold for a second. You guys attack too. You guys get there. You guys, uh, apart from them. Ah, god damn it. What just happened there? But you guys get around here too. You guys into there. And that should be them dead. Don't think they've got much else to offer, have they? Here we go. Our first battle with the Romans. Very nice indeed. Enjoy, my friends. Enjoy. We've got a couple of units taking a bit of losses. But apart from that, that's fine. You guys get in there. And we will send Azistaphoroi to go and deal. They are fellow Greeks, these guys. I feel slightly bad for them. But they chose the wrong side, didn't they? They chose the wrong side. Now it's time to go straight in the back of these Prinkapes. Right in their back there, guys. And also, let's rally so he doesn't die because we've lost a few generals recently. There we go. Straight in the back of the Prinkapes. You guys into there. There we go. This is it, boys. This is it. Into there, please, guys. Into there. Listen. <laughs> right, cavalry. Out. There we go. Everyone's out. Let's get them. And there they go. They should be very easy to chase down because they are very slow. Because they are Romans and have a lot of armor on. <laughs> uh, anyone else of interest? Just this guy. I don't know what he's doing, but okay. Let's speed it up. There we go, boys. There we go. Let's go. Glorious victory. Our first victory against the Romans. Glorious victory, my friends. 84 dead to 474. Two Romans can go back to Rome and tell them, maybe don't invade here anymore. <laughs> well, a glorious victory. We can actually retrain pretty much everyone in Fenike now, apart from the cavalry. So I am going to pop in the Hippodrome there too, as our next building there. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's stop that for a second. Let's move you out. Let's move you in. And let's retrain everyone we can. Which is all of those boys. Very nice. Hardly anyone's taken any damage there. Very good. Very good victory. Uh, while you go to Ambrakia for retraining. And hopefully we get rid of the plague. That would be nice, wouldn't it? We've got 23,000 left to spend. So let's have a look. Let's go round our recruitment hubs first. So, Thebipathia TDs is not. You are. You're building. That Ferai is also needs to be building something. Because we're building the two... Uh, hubs in there. I think it's probably worth building the infantry one in Ferai. And this will be a nice little recruitment hub over this way. What are we building in Pella? We're still building that. Uh, that makes sense in Thessalonica. Let's also in Pella recruit a Acontistai to go and go into Cassandre because we need that ASAP. Over this way, how are we doing for ports and stuff? If we pop a shipwright in Tarona, yeah, another 300. That's fantastic. Let's do that then. How about over here? We could go for the Shrine to Aphrodite. Let's go for that. This is quite a rich region, so that's why I'm spending a little bit of time. Let's have a look now at Ayana, though, and Baroya, because these areas are even richer. Um, how would that do oh that's actually really good for those roads so let's do that in there how would the roads do there though let's uh cancel something we just we just built yeah that's we don't need that and that's still not enough for the roads in baroya um yeah that's fine oh, let's build something else then we don't need the roads there specifically right now uh, what else? Other recruitment hubs of Fenike and Ambrakia. We are building in both of those. And then up here in the north, by the Zora, we're building. And, yeah, we're going to build in there too. And also Stimbra. So we're going to have a little Thracian recruitment there. Thessalian and Factional down here. So, yeah, that should be quite good. Up this way, is there anything we want to build? Potentially roads, just so we can move through this region a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, you can't do that quite yet, can you? You guys have not built any... Oh, you have built rams. Interesting. You, they, did they build that in one turn? Again, though, it's not bordering, so I'm hoping they will abandon it and come back and then siege down these. And then we'll siege down these two, and then they will be dead. So, 
<laughs> AI gonna AI, my friends. AI gonna AI. And you've gotta, you know, don't interrupt them when they're making a mistake, huh? Let's get the shrine to Dioscuri in there. Not Dioscuri. I can't remember. Dionysus. Yes, there we go. And we're building in there. We're building in Thermon. We are fantastic. Well, I think we're going to end the episode there, guys. Another very successful episode, I've got to say. Romans invaded, but they didn't last long, did they, my friends? They did not last long at all. What a glorious, glorious little victory for us. Uh, how much for a spy, actually? 800. Well, we'll wait till next turn. That'll be glorious. And we'll get a spy and send them across to Rome, I think, is the best option. Let's also see if Rome would actually be interested in a ceasefire now. Uh, I doubt it. Quick. Especially... Oh, is generous. Okay, good. And now let's get trade rights with them. That's built us a little bit of extra cash. So, yeah, let's... Uh, what about alliance? Very demanding. Every single alliance we offer is very demanding, especially with that guy. Hopefully that's made his influence slightly better, but no, he's just such so many bad traits from all our bad deals we've been trying to do. But yeah, one battle with Rome and they had enough. Fantastic. Those two Romans must have had a very convincing argument in the Senate, but glorious for us nonetheless. And we are actually trading across the way now, so let's have a look at that just slightly. Yeah, Uzentum. Yeah, so we are trading across the way, which is good for us. That's going to, you know, provide us with a bit more extra cash. Very good. Well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.